All right, everybody. So a couple days ago, uh, I got my Vertex Simple Indexing Spacer. Now, this is not a picture of what I got. What I got does not have the knob right here. This is a Super Spacer by Vertex. Mine's uh, the Simple Indexing Spacer. I've already got a rotary table, so I don't really need a Super Spacer. But uh, we're going to take this out of the box, take a look at it. Uh, if you're not familiar with Vertex, uh, they're they're a Chinese company, but they actually make decent quality uh, metal working tools. So let me get this uh, set up here. So I can probably get this up here. One hander. This is the dividing plates that bolt into the back. We'll take a look at them, and then we'll take a look at the uh, spacer itself. So let me get this thing pulled out of the box. It's kind of heavy, and. Uh, Set, get it set up here and we'll take a look at it all right guys got it out of the box and again this is a vertex six inch simple spacer or indexing spacer i don't necessarily think this is a super spacer i'm not exactly sure what a super spacer what sets a super spacer apart from a simple spacer but anyway uh nonetheless this is a spacer indexing spacer We'll take a look at the back to start with. Now, if you don't know, the way these work is you've got an indexing plate in there that's got different notches. This comes with seven different plates. All of them's got different, a different amount of notches cut in it. The one that's in here right now is a 24-notch plate, so it will rotate through the 360-degree circle 15 degrees. So if you've ever done any kind of mill work and you're trying to cut something and you need something exactly, you know, a certain amount of degrees around, it can be a real challenge to make sure you get it perfect. That's where this comes in. And basically the way it works is you put your part in here. Now you can also lay this down in the vertical position so your part's sticking up. Or you can use it in the horizontal position the way it is once you've clamped this down to your uh, table. Um, and, and dialed it in, you put your part in here, and now every time you want to rotate something, you, this is just a lock, so you're going to unlock it. It comes with this little rotating pin that goes in these holes right here. Uh, you, you can go by the dial right here, this plate, this graduation plate, or depending on where you're at, all you need is just a reference to go by. You can even use the zerk fitting up here. So you would uh, pull the lever up right here to, uh, to pull the paw out of the notch in the plate. Once it's started to turn, you can let go of that. And then whenever the next notch comes up, it'll lock in solid. And then you lock the, the handle right here and it sucks everything together so that it's nice and tight. That way you do your machine unlock it go to the next notch or if you need to go you know right now it'll do every 15 degrees but if you pass one of them then that'd be 30 degrees or you could do 60 degrees or whatever um, and like I say you can use the high pressure zerk fitting right here as a reference if you needed to look just straight down on it you can use this plate the plate looks nice the plate is adjustable slightly so if you needed to line that up exactly right on the money you could um, well, let's take a look at the chuck. Of course, the chuck did come with it and is already bolted on. And it's nice. I mean, it's a nice looking chuck. The machine work on it looks nice. It feels good. It's nice and tight. It'd been nice if they would have made this just a little bit longer to make sure you didn't hit that. But again, all you got to do rotate that up and out of the way or use another uh, keyway um, let me see what the through hole is here and then we'll measure the back also to see what the biggest diameter part you could get in here
because I did notice the back hole is bigger than this chuck hole. So the chuck is about so one inch seven hundred sixty thousandths. The back hole is almost two inches. One inch nine hundred seventy thousandths. Hopefully you're seeing that. So a pretty good size hole. You need to have a, a long shaft go all the way through. Uh, that shouldn't be a problem. The only other addition that I'm going to need to get for this is a, a tail stock for this. I got one for my 8 inch rotary table, but I don't think it will adjust down enough to work with this. I'm going to have to check that. But everything on this looks nice. I mean, I hope... I hope the lighting is doing it justice as far as I've got it sprayed down with my uh, rim oil too just so it doesn't rust but uh, the nice laser markings right here are you I mean you can hang your fingernail on them they're, they're nice and deep the plate I like the fact that it is adjustable everything feels good on it nice spring right there I like the fact that it's got grease certs and the the funny thing is is so once I figured out that this was the one that I wanted um, I searched around searched around went from website to website found a website they had this uh, shipping and everything was eight hundred and fifty dollars once it was shipped I just happened to find a six inch it looks it looks exactly identical to this. In fact, I have no doubt they came right out of the same factory. All they've done is put a different label on it right here, and it's 530 bucks on Amazon. So I'll throw that link in the description to save you $300 over buying this one. Now, Vertex does have a pretty good reputation as far as a Chinese company that makes uh, machine tools. Uh, they're right up there with the Phase 2 which is another Chinese company that makes pretty decent uh, quality machinist tools. Vertex is just right there. But this one I found on Amazon, it looks identical to this. Everything about it. But I'll let you be a judge. You can compare the pictures and stuff. But now the nice thing about these, obviously this is in the horizontal position. Let's lay this thing down here. You can do it in the vertical position also. So if you've got your stock in there and you needed to, uh, you know, rotate it around. Of course, it is a lot easier with your uh, rotating pin here. Nice, solid indents to, to grab. Do your machining. Go to the next notch that you need to go to to uh, get however many machine operations around a diameter very handy tool to have I've got an 8 inch rotary table but it's so big and heavy putting it up here just to do a, a quick operation that only a rotary table or an indexer can do uh, I, I finally just decided I need something a little bit lighter that will do a lot of what I use my rotary table for and this this will uh, take up probably 80% of what I use my rotary table for this is going to do that job and it's a lot easier a lot lighter it's this is nothing for me to hoist up here on my mill anyway I just kind of wanted to show this in case you're in the market for a uh, uh, indexing spacer you might take a look at this um, everything about it looks nice I have absolutely zero complaints right now um, does come with a little calibration card of course I don't know how accurate this is you know th this might be the same card they print off for every single one of them I have no idea does have a one-year warranty by vertex this is the model number CC-6 and it does come with a little manual got some information in it that you know might come in handy that's a super spacer right there you can see the uh, worm gear with a knob 
I guess that's a super. I mean, I don't know what the difference between that and a rotary table is. If this is a super spacer, what makes this different than a rotary table? I don't know. Anyway, there you go. If you're in the market for a uh, indexer, take a look at this one. We'll see you. Bye.